morning everybody welcome back to another monday morning mindfulness my name is todd schmink and we're just going to jump right in like we always do and be mindful so we do this by simply settling in to wherever it is that you are just take a moment to look around wherever you may be sitting or lying down and listening to or watching this. Just take a moment. Settle in, relax, and if you can then, pay attention to your feet. Just bring your awareness to your feet. Now, it helps quite a bit to close your eyes at this point. If you can't do that or don't want to do that right now, that's all right. Just bring your awareness as best you can, look off, focus on something if your eyes are open, otherwise close your eyes, and really bring your awareness down into the bottoms of your feet. And be curious about them, just notice them. What sensations are occurring in your feet right now. Now, your mind may wander when you're doing this. And that's only natural. You can't do this wrong. So, if you notice that you're thinking about something, just notice what you're noticing and then bring your awareness back down into your feet. Good. Now I'm gonna have you shift a bit. I'd like for you to just go up into the lower half of your body, so your, from your torso, your stomach, on down. And I'd like for you just to find all the sensations, pay attention to whatever sensations are showing up in your lower torso starting now. Good. At this point, it's not unusual for you to have had thoughts memories, distractions, outside distractions, noises. Just notice where your mind went and then bring your mind back to your torso, to the lower part of your body. And this time pick just one sensation. Maybe there's a, a soreness in the back of your legs or your legs are cold or they're warm or you're bouncing one of your feet. Just pay attention to that and keep your attention there. And now we're going to move up into the upper part of the body. We're going to pay attention to the upper torso. So your chest, your shoulders, your head, your hands, your arms, your back. So just pay attention for a moment to all of that area, all the different sensations going on in that part of your body right now. If your mind wandered, just notice where it went. And this time I'd like you to just zero in on one sensation in your upper torso and just keep your awareness there. Where is your mind? Did it wander? Notice where it went. 
pay attention to what it was you were paying attention to a moment ago, and then just let it drift away, and bring your awareness back this time to the rhythm, the cadence of your breathing. Just notice how you're breathing. Pay attention to the sensation. Feel your chest expand as you breathe in. Shoulders widening. And then as you breathe out, just notice how everything just collapses back in. There's less tension. All the air moves its way out and your chest compresses, collapses back inwards. Notice the speed of how quickly you are breathing, the cadence. And purposely slow it down. Now, just in your mind's eye, imagine a sky. And in this sky, there are clouds and a storm. Think of a rainstorm, a hurricane, a tornado, a winter blizzard. Picture that in your mind for a moment. The noise, the energy, the volatility, the wetness, the coldness, the winds, and how they would just tear around. And yet, the sky is still there. If you and I were to actually go out in a storm like that, and we had the ability to fly, to float up above the clouds, we would see nothing but sky in all directions, just vast, and open and having room for all the storms down below. No matter what the storms do, they can't hurt the sky. They can't cause the sky any harm. The sky is the container for all of the storms, the windstorms, the hurricanes, the, the hard and heavy winds. The sky is just there, always. Even if we look up through it and you can't see anything but clouds, we know if we were on an airplane and we pushed up just past it, that we would be able to look down and see puffy white clouds and in a distance, a blue sky. Perhaps you've experienced this, taking off from an airport in a terrible storm, only a few moments later to break through the top of the clouds and see sky and beautiful white puffy clouds or possibly even ominously dark clouds down below. Again, the sky is the container and it's open and it holds all of this. And the metaphor here is that the sky is open and vast. And the sky represents the observing mind, the place that we can go in a mindfulness practice like you are currently doing. There will be storms below, and those are your thoughts, your feelings, and your sensations. Come and go. But you, right now, as the witness, as the observing mind, paying attention to what we just did in the body, and paying attention now as thoughts come and go. You are the sky. That part of you is the sky. So I invite you, now that this video draws to an end, to take a moment, once this is done, and just simply allow yourself to be the sky, the big sky, and notice what shows up in your body, the clouds, the storm, the thoughts, 
the winds, the desires, the impulses, the old memories, and just see them for what they are, separate from this aspect of yourself. Why? The more we can practice this skill, we can always then give ourselves that space, that openness, access to that vastness, which is this aspect of yourself, which has not changed one bit since the moment you were born. Now, if you like this and you want to do something else on top of it, well, I recommend checking out either this or this. And if you like this, please be sure to like below. And until the next time, may you be well.